Hello artist and welcome to Mr. Melvin Makes. Today's drawing challenge is to draw a snail winning a race. This art challenge will remind us that slow and steady wins the race, but will also teach us about the visual elements of art. To get started, I am going to turn my paper to the side so that it is longer than it is tall. This is called landscape orientation. Next, I'm going to sketch out my snail on a racetrack and add some details to the background. Now that I have my entire drawing sketched out, I can begin to outline my lines to make them darker and easier to see. If you follow along with me, you can see the variety of lines and shapes I use to draw a snail. First, I draw a circle that is almost all the way closed. Then I add a curved line to connect the open end of that circle. This is the snail shell. Now I want to work on the body. I'll add two curved lines on the outside of the shell with a second smaller open circle where the snail's mouth would be. Next, I draw a wavy line on the bottom to complete the snail's body. Lastly, I add two eyes with two circles near the shell and above the mouth. I draw a slightly curved line to connect the eyes to the body and I add my final details. I really want my snail to stand out in my picture, so I'm going to add many details on him so he will be the first thing somebody sees when they look at my drawing. In art, we can call that emphasis. You can see that because I added so many dots and circles on my snail, he stands out from the other details in my picture. Remember the word emphasis, I might just ask you about that later. One super important line an artist might add to their work is the horizon line. This is the line I drew that connects the left side of the paper to the right side of the paper. The horizon line is where the sky meets the ground in your art. It is a really simple way for artists to create a sense of space in their picture. With everything drawn and outlined, you can begin to finish your work by adding color creatively. As you follow along, pay attention to the colors I use in my snail and how those contrast or are different from the colors around the snail. I had a really great time making this drawing. You can see that the orange snail shell pops out of the page because it is so much brighter than the other colors on the paper. Do you remember the word we use when something stands out in art? Hmm, it starts with the letter E. That's right, the snail does have emphasis because it is so much brighter than the other parts of this picture. It's so silly to think about a snail winning a race because they tend to be pretty slow creatures. Slow and steady wins the race though. For this art challenge, draw a snail winning a race. Try to emphasize your snail by having it stand out from the rest of your drawing. And remember to include a horizon line to show space in your artwork. Happy making artist, enjoy.